talking about physical properties, I want to bring us back and let us look at the particles. What are the particles doing? Um, and then from there, we can sort of make sense of the macroscopic stuff that we see. So there's my solid. You can see the particles are vibrating, but they're definitely bonded together. There's some intermolecular force holding these particles together. Now, if I add some energy to this and convert it to a liquid, there we go, convert it to a liquid, you can see we've actually broken some of the bonds. Now, there's intermolecular forces holding these things together, but we had to break up some of those. So I had to put some energy in to break the intermolecular forces when I go from a solid to a liquid. There's something else really interesting going on. This is technically a liquid, but look at some of the particles have bounced out. Of course, they've evaporated. So above this liquid, we have some gas particles. And of course, those are producing a gas pressure. We call that the vapor pressure. So solid, all stuck together, add some amount of energy, boom, we can break some of the bonds, turn it into a liquid, and in the liquid phase, we notice all of a sudden, hey, we've got some gas particles escaping and producing a vapor pressure. When I go to a gas, look at what I've done to the intermolecular forces. I've broken all of the bonds. So liquid, add energy, called the heat of fusion, or go from a solid, add this energy we call the heat of fusion. It's a smart aleck way of saying the energy required to melt, the energy required to break the solid intermolecular forces, but not all of them. There's my liquid. There's that vapor pressure from the, from the particles that are escaping. And then if I have to add some energy to break these few remaining liquid intermolecular forces to break all of those, I have to add yet more energy. We call that the heat of vaporization. So add the heat of vaporization to this, and bingo, all bonds are broken. Okay, I hope that helps, and now we'll start on uh, page 8.17.